It's the Diamond K Show here on RadioFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to all of our listeners around the world. Of course, Radio on Fire News Network, seven days a week. We are um, dropping all types of um, programming for and about urban America. So before we get into today's show... Get ready for the biggest weekend of 2019, the party weekend, that is, as we launch the first annual DJ Kenny K Old School Holiday and Family Reunion Party going down Saturday, November the 30th, 2019, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. at the Radisson Hotel downtown Baltimore. Come experience old school Baltimore partying on another level. It's Thanksgiving weekend, as I said, and this is an appreciation party for teachers and parks and recs. Advanced tickets, $25, available at m k Music Warehouse, Marshall's Music, No Limit Communications, and of course, Radio on Fire, All in His Hands Barbershop, uh, it is it is going to be an epic night. Take a listen to this lineup. Music by DJ Kenny K, DJ Sean Marshall, DJ Scotty B, DJ Angelo, DJ Deke, DJ Rod Lee, and yours truly, DJ Diamond K, hosted by B More Russ and Conan. Hotel rates, because I said this is the Radisson downtown. Hotel rates only $84. For more information, text 443-509-7051. Saturday, November the 30th at the Radisson Hotel. Make sure you are there. So GOP goons storm a secure area, causing all kind of confusion. As the country's prolonged ordeal with Donald Trump as its commander-in-chief enters year number four, the attempted distractions will no doubt continue. Today, reacting to the urging of the corrupt 45th president of the United States, mindless followers posing as Republican lawmakers disrupted the secure hearing room demanding to take part in the impeachment inquiry. Let's understand what's going on here, okay? Donald Trump is nervous. He is. And he's trying to get his cronies to help him feel better about himself because the noose, he likes to talk about a lynching, the noose is tightening around his neck. So, a skiff, S-C-I-F, skiff, right? A sensitive, compartmented information facility. That is what's used by Congress for many classified and highly classified procedures. That's where the impeachment inquiry is taking place. So when roughly two dozen GOP madmen stormed the skiff with cell phones, it raised security concerns. This is supposed to be a sensitive space. Phones are not allowed for obvious reasons. The Republicans who forced their way into the room argued that they should be able to question witnesses even though they aren't members of the committees conducting the impeachment inquiries. They're running around, spitting this propaganda like stuff is happening behind the scenes, happening in the basement. This is the procedure outlined in the Constitution. It's the same procedure that they did for Nixon, same procedure that they did for Clinton, but for, for Donald Trump, the baby Trump, it's, it's different for some reason. 46 House Republicans serve on the Intelligence, Oversights, and Foreign Affairs Committees, which are leading the impeachment probes. They have representation. It's not just Democrats down there doing the, the business. It's Republicans there, too. 
that should be enough. But Trump has placed, as I said, a battery in the back of the Judiciary Committee, which handles official impeachment procedures. So understand this. This is just an inquiry, right? This is the pregame to decide whether an official impeachment is even warranted. Okay, we are not that far in the process as of yet. And if an official impeachment hearing takes place, it will be open and viewed. Then they'll be able, the, the Judiciary Committee will be involved. These GOP goons are completely out of order, and it's more distractions from the distractor in chief, Donald Trump. Right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dom K Show, at Radio on Fire. Uh, this, this guy, Donald Trump, is he really immune? From prosecution. Let's talk about that. So the president's attorney argued in court today that presidential immunity is absolute and that prosecution of any actions, even those committed while in office, can only be enforced once out of office. This notion is ridiculous. However, it did not stump, uh, stop the Trump lawyer from saying in court, Trump can't be prosecuted while in office. Even if he shoots someone, he said this in court. So William Consovoy, a lawyer for Trump, responded to a question from the Second Circuit Court of Appeals Judge Denny Chen on whether local authorities could investigate the president under that hypothetical. The, the lawyer responded like this. I think once the president is removed from office, any local authority, this is not a permanent immunity. Uh, that's the only way, right? Judge Chen responded, well, I'm talking about while in office. Consovoy answered no. Need I remind the MAGA crowd, the Trump supporters, the, 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 the sheeple, that in a 5-4 decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the president is entitled to absolute immunity from liability for civil damages based on his official acts. Okay? That probably makes you feel good. The court emphasized that the president is not immune from criminal charges stemming from his official or unofficial acts while in office. That was Nixon v. Fitzgerald, okay? The president is not immune. There are instances where he or she can face criminal charges for acts, official acts or unofficial acts while in office. High crimes and misdemeanors. That's what Trump is scared of. That's why he's so nervous. That's why he's so shook. So yes, the Trump train is on shaky grounds. I don't know how this is going to end. But I have a feeling that he will not be kicked out of office early. That Republican vote, though, is looking pretty shaky. A national Republican, maybe Mitt Romney, maybe somebody else, could run against Trump, somebody with a bigger name, and split up that vote. The Never Trumpers, where y'all at? Where the Libertarians at? Where the, conser where the real conservatives at that really can't stand Donald Trump? That vote could be split. That vote could be split. And then, potentially, he could lose a fair election. I wanted to say fair election because we have clearly Russians meddling. We don't know who else. Could be bad, could be worse. Could be worse. Of course, you're listening to the John McKay Show. 
And uh, if you're tired of mainstream media misrepresenting the truth, then I need you to be right here. Tune in to the Don McKay Show. Daily episodes dropping, 4 p.m., radioonfire.com, however you're listening to this. YouTube, Stitcher Radio, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, or radioonfire.com slash K. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, of course. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, at the Diamond K Show. Hit the share button on Instagram. Hit that heart, you know what I mean? Also, do me a favor, search Diamond K. Type in D-I-A-M-O-N-D space, the letter K, in any of the streaming services. Check out some of the music that uh, that I have out there. Amazon, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, all of that. Do that, uh, do that for me. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Uh, here on RadioOnFire.com, your man Diamond K.